In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the five big things I use my WordPress HT access file for, and we're getting started right now. Before we get started, let me know in the comments down below if you even use your HT access file. Have you even heard of it before watching this video? Do you know what it is? Do you, are you an advanced user of the HT access file? Again, there's no judgment. It doesn't matter what level you are. We're all here to learn and help each other. So it doesn't matter if you have never heard of it or if you're a super user. Let us know in the comments down below, no judgment. Just be interesting to see what you guys think of the HT access file. Your HT access file is normally found in the root of your website. So when you log into your site through FTP or through file manager in the cPanel, you'll go to the root of your site. It'll look something like this, where you have WP content, WP admin, WP includes, and a list of WordPress files down below. And there'll be one called .ht access. The dot means it's a hidden file. So if you don't see it there, go to a button called settings, and click on show hidden files. This dialog box may have popped up when you first clicked on open file manager, in which case you gotta exit the file manager, re-enter it and check this box before you actually enter it. In FTP, the file should be visible because you need to be able to view all your files. So it should be visible via FTP. And if it's not here, you can actually create one just by going to file, to add a file and then call it dot ht access and then you have an HD access file. It'll be blank, but you'll have one. Another way to create one using WordPress is by setting your permalinks. That is the most common way HD access files are used for WordPress users. And this is what the permalink structure looks like in your HD access file. And in case you don't know, permalinks are the actual design of the link or the structure of the link. When you first install WordPress, your blog post to be something like P equals and then the ID of that blog post. But if you set a permalink structure, you can actually add words into that link. The URL to your blog post would be sunshine, for example, instead of just being a number. So permalinks are quite important in WordPress and any site really. And I have a tutorial on more about those in case you don't know about permalinks. I'll show you how to set them up in a tutorial somewhere in a card and in the description down below. And this is the most basic use. And there's four other very important uses that I use my own HT access file for. And on my main site, my HT access file is this one right here. And you can see there's a whole lot more stuff than just the regular of uh, permalinks. There's a whole lot more. The biggest things, most common things I use my HT access file for is redirects. You can create redirects using a plugin. I've linked a tutorial up above for that. You can also create them inside your HT access file. Another tutorial for that one up above in the description down below. And it's super easy to create 301 redirects. You don't need a plugin for it. But if you really must have a plugin, you can use one. But this is just super easy. So we just write redirect 301. Then we have everything past the domain name of the page you want to redirect. And then the full URL of the page you want to redirect to. And so I have a lot of 301 redirects. A lot of these could be improved. I could actually make this all one redirect using regex, but I just haven't, or regular expressions. I just haven't had time to do that, and this just works fine. Um, if the file becomes more unwieldy, I'll come back and, and improve my redirecting, but for now, it's good enough. And so that is a very important use for HT access files, 301 redirects. And the reasons you want to use a 301 redirect, if you have a 404 on your page, which is a missing page, you can send traffic to a different page if they're encountering 404s. You can also redirect to different areas. For example, if you were using affiliate links, you might want to go through a redirect and send people to affiliate offers through a redirect. There's a lot of different uses for redirects. Um, next is, I don't do it in my HT access file here, but you can force HTTP or HTTPS to be used on your site with a redirect. You have to have an SSL certificate to use HTTPS, but you can force your site to use that SSL using HT access commands. You can also choose to have your site load as a www or a non www. For example, WP Learning Lab, I have it set to load as a non www. So if I type in here www and then hit enter, it just redirects to the non www version. So you can do that inside your HD access file. You can have a trailing slash or not defined in the HD access file. So if I go to about, you see I have the slash after the about, you can actually 
not have a slash there. And you can define that in the htaccess file. Why do you want to do that? Just for appearances. Some people will tell you it's duplicate content. So if your page will load at this address and at this address, they'll say it's duplicate content. But it turns out Google has now said recently, or maybe a long time ago, they've said that that doesn't really matter for duplicate content. We know that not everybody's a super duper techie webmaster. And so this type of duplicate content is not anything important, not anything that's going to hurt your site. So they say, let's head back to our HT access file. And something else that's really important is security measures. You can do a lot of WordPress security in your HT access file. Some of the most common ones protecting your XML RPC file, which is a common brute force attack vector, protecting your WP config file, protecting your login page, allowing only certain IPs to access your admin area. And the list goes on and on. There's a lot you can do just in the HD access file. And I've linked to the tutorial up above that covers a couple of those in the description down below as well. And I've also linked to a $7 course that I sell on WordPress security. This is the basics of WordPress security. Link to down below. Check that out if you want. And I also have a plugin called WebArcs installed, which is a super duper premium only WordPress security plugin. And it hangs out in the HD access file a lot. For example, Let's find it. So we have here, begin web arcs. This is a comment. This, this pound sign is a comment. So everything after that comment is not actually parsed by the, the server. And everything that doesn't have a pound sign is parsed. So we have, or we're protecting HT access, HT password, error docs. We are blocking file access to a bunch of important files. This is WebArcs doing this, not, not me personally. This is some settings in WebArcs, and then WebArcs puts this stuff into the HT access file. So you could theoretically just copy a lot of this code and just use it on your site without using WebArcs. So we block debug log access, disable index views, forbid proxy commenting. Oh, let's see, my, my mic is in the way. Um, we are over WP scan, not sure what that one does. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff that WebArcs does. It injects it in the HD access file. It's a great file for security purposes. If you want to check out WebArcs, there's a link in the description down below. This is an affiliate link, I think. I don't even know if they have an affiliate program. If they do, it'll be an affiliate link because <laughs> it helps to keep the lights on. So anyway, check them out if you want to. You can also do a lot of site speed optimization in your HD access file. I have linked to a tutorial down below, maybe up above in the card as well, to a gzip compression tutorial. And that is just code that goes into the HT access file and it compresses HTML documents as they're sent from your server, makes them load faster for the end user. You can do things like, hang on, I have a plugin installed called WP Rocket. And it adds a bunch of stuff to my HT access file just like WebArcs does. And it just makes life easier doing that. It'll add expired headers. So headers that um, it basically tells the browser how long a certain piece of information should be stored in the browser. And if you don't have that, for whatever reason, it slows down your site. So having expired headers speeds your site up. And WP Rocket adds a whole bunch of stuff in here. Here's the expired header section. So it defines the header expiration dates for all different types of information that a website would load. Here's the gzip compression. whole bunch of stuff. And all this is added by WP Rocket. And you could do all this manually as well, but I find WP Rocket and WebArcs for that matter just make my life a whole lot easier and a whole lot faster, uh, frankly. And I'm working on a tutorial where I show you how to do a lot of this WordPress speeding up in the HT access file and other ways manually. So make sure you watch out for that. Click subscribe and the bell icon so you don't miss those tutorials. So those are the five main things I use my HT access file for permalinks, redirects, forcing HTTP over HTTPS or the other way around, www, non-www, things like that, site speed and security. If you think I missed anything major that should be in the HT access file, please let us know in the comments down below. And don't forget to click subscribe and smash the bell icon so you don't miss any of these awesome videos. And next up is checking out this video here, the top 10 most common mistakes, security mistakes I see over and over and over and over and over and over in client sites. So check that out. And this is the video down here that YouTube thinks you should watch. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.